With his new career underway, Sam Clemens decided to take on a new name, one that would stick with him the rest of his life and eventually become the most celebrated in all of American literature. On February 3rd, 1863, at the end of a dispatch written from Carson City to the Territorial Enterprise, he signed himself Mark Twain. There's a lot of ambiguity in that. Two fathoms, Mark Twain, is the point at which dangerous water becomes safe water, or the point at which safe water becomes dangerous water. And I think Mark Twain was always on that margin. That's where he lived, on the edge, between the lightness and the dark, between safety and danger, but always on the flow of the river. 